Ah, just as I went live, wouldn't you know it? Of course. I was trying to bring this down a little bit further. I have a... Yeah, there's one with a hole in it. But this is uh, some of my quartz marbles. Good to see you guys. Letting you see a variety of my quartz figurines inside Boro Marbles. This is the largest collection I have at the moment. And I'm going to throw in some other marbles as well. I've got a whole bunch of marbles to show up. So why not? Do you have any questions or comments? Ask and I'll talk to you. Here's another neat one. A little bit of a skull thing. Hey, Jody. Like I said, these are my quartz figurines encased in Boro. Not it's easy making the marble round but believe it or not the figurines inside are this size little tiny stuff gives you a little idea i'll show one of those off in after a little bit but we'll uh keep going here i've had a lot of fun learning the conch shell Oh, we got a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to show off each one that I... Quartz figurines one anyway. Uh, there's been one guy that's been nagging me about showing them off for a while. So I'm... Hey, Naomi. So here we go. And if he's interested in anything in particular or if you have something... The figurines that are inside of there used to be beach pebbles or quartz rocks like this i actually take the stone melt it down i make quartz rods let me see if i can reach one hold on it either comes out of a milky here's a good combination thereof it comes out either either a, a clear or clear mix or milky white in color and uh, I then turn around and make these and then make the little figurines and they turn out like this oops of course they're spilling out all over the place what I've got here mainly uh, oh of course trying to hold on to them here you go gives you a little idea there's a little lady a little dolphin little guy I, I use a nice fine point flame and I fume this with gold to give it that pink and gold or uh, purple and gold luster and then turn around and encase it in boro okay okay hey Sil 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 Sylvia hello oh I just lost one it went right down in the floor it's history darn we'll get back to that okay and uh then i turn around believe it or not yeah the luster is really really neat on them sometimes it just sort of the gold shines through and that's the only two colors that i've been able i tried silver with them and the silver really doesn't really do anything for it it usually burns off but the gold stays in there enough to do the job with you saw that little tiny man that figurine there is maybe just a little bit bigger than that tiny man what happens is as you put the glass around it it magnifies it and as it magnifies you know it's just like anything else you put a glass around it it looks bigger that's all 
Okay, here's one of my little guys. Oh, my little ladies, excuse me. You can tell the difference immediately. It's called bumpy fits, you know. That's how you can tell the difference between the guy and the lady. <laughs> Who knew, right? Here she is swimming with a dolphin. Well, it's not really like an implosion. All I do is basically encase it in boro and all you got to do is just layer clear glass uh, the boro over it because it doesn't uh, it doesn't you know if it was made out of more boro with boro it, as you melt it it sort of twists and turns and but the quartz melting at a higher temperature does not distort the image Oh, magnifies like an implosion. Yes, okay. But it, 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 it the image does not distort as you, uh, as you put it there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on just a second. Just pull up. Pull. Keep pulling. Hold on. I'll come out over there. Hold on. Up. Yeah. We could think about that too. Something with a little bit bigger? Yeah. Land, not a whole lot. I'm talking one to five acres. Yeah. It's supposed to be getting somewhere around fifteen thousand back. That would be a good um, deposit or something. Oh that's not quartz, that's a mushroom. Yeah. Um, we're doing a video. I'll catch yeah. you. We'll talk about this when we're not on public land. <laughs> <laughs> about another half I hour. About, about about another half hour. Okay, I want to have a discussion. Yeah, I've done a little bit of the scuba divers. I've done. Uh, whole bunch of crap uh, a whole bunch of different stuff here and I've had a lot of fun with the conch shells as well thanks Jody I I love this is uh one day I just picked up some quartz rocks and melted them down and made the figurines it was one of my dragons I love my dragons That's beautiful. Bigger scuba diver. You can see that the quartz comes out a little bit different in color and stuff like that. Yeah, the detail. Again, you saw how small they were, um, those little figurines. And the detail is not lost once you encase it in quartz. I mean, in boro, because the quartz melts at a higher temperature. There is sometimes a little bit of stress happening, and if you tell people that I have encased quartz in a boro marble, they go, "Huh?" Because the coefficients are different. And yes, there is sometimes where, where it came out looking like a fried marble, or the the stress cracks are all over the place and breaks in half and so I call these the impossible possibilities things that shouldn't wouldn't could probably if you put it under a polariscope it's probably gonna shine like the rainbow of no here back in tomorrow <laughs> but it works and I'm not gonna complain that it works because you get fabulous results I have some other ones too. We'll get to those in a minute. I'm trying to get through most of the quartz figurine marbles first. It's a couple of thousand degrees to melt the quartz. Um, Jody just asked uh, 
I had no idea you could melt quartz, what temperature, how to anneal. Um, most, um, what, what do they call them, bangers? Uh, are made out of quartz. Yes, you can melt it. Um, and the annealing is a little bit higher, but at room temperature and as small as I go, I, I, I anneal the boro the same way I would normally. And I try to even get it a few hours more than that just to, uh, I love that one, how the lizards curled up into the marble itself. And that one is initialed with a milli that I did at one point down there at the bottom. My initials are LVBL and the L is up here and the VB is there in the middle and there's another L below. The milli didn't turn out as good as I'd like, but it, it, it does, it, it's there anyway. Here's my man and he can do cartwheels. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting down there. Got a few more to go. Here's a little horse. Uh, that's right. I'm a little horse tonight. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love doing the octopi. It's kind of crazy that way, but it's some really interesting stuff. And again, if you have a request of something you would like to see in a marble... I think I could uh, probably uh, come up with something. Um, the larger ones like this, forty to fifty dollars. Uh, smaller ones, I can go for ten to twenty dollars. No, actually, no, no less than fifteen to twenty dollars, and that's giving it away. I'm not a very good salesman, but I know that they're worth that. If not the figurine itself, the quartz figurine itself is worth ten dollars, and then the the glass around it and putting it in there is a headache but I can if you had a figurine that I do that I already do like an elephant a cat a mouse a swan a bear a whale a snail a unicorn a dolphin whatever I can make a little figurine and or if you wanted to you know a man and a, a, a horse or a man and a uh, I could I never tried a motorcycle whoever thought that one up yes I So somebody just thought about a motorcycle. I don't know. And I believe I'm almost run out of the quartz figurines that I have. And then I can get into some of the other ones that I have. Oh, there we go. This one, you can't see until you do this. Your dolphins are so good. Thanks. I appreciate that, Jody. This one is a, oh, for Valentine's Day, a heart marble. <laughs> With Lucy, UV reactive glass. Hey, Greg, you just missed out on most of the quartz figurines, but I'm still doing some of the, uh, the other marbles that I do. I call this a bloom shroom. I have a video on doing those on my YouTube channel. If anybody knew that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Here's another one I love doing. This was pretty cool. Reminds me of a Nautilus shell, but not quite. Here's a conch shell made out of boro. And let me show you... Yeah, the mushroom cloud. Let me show you the quartz shell made out of the conch shell made out of quartz. You can see the detail is there in the boro, but the detail is not as lost in the quartz. So that's a that's a good comparison there. Oh yeah, I love doing these skulls. I don't know why, but I did. Interesting 
distortion there on the surface of that piece of glass. But that's another thing about my glass marbles is that I tried and I do try to make them look nice but sometimes there's a distortion, a bubble, or whatever. I believe in leaving those because it, it shows, um, it shows uh, um, imperfections and that's what us humans are. Oh, here we go. Here's not a quartz one, but one of my uh, silver fumed and pressing. Hey, Kara. Silver fumed and pressing uh, in the glass and then encased. I love the skulls. I really like where they have gone. So, and uh, here's another one. Each one comes out a little bit different because of the distortion factor as you press it into and then the glass, laying the glass around it, the distortion factor happens. Here's another, I think this is a conch shell. Nope. It's a sea turtle, UV reactive Illuminati sea turtle. Hi, Vanessa. Glad to see you showed up. Easter's around the corner. I can do some Easter eggs with like snakes and dragons around them. Um, here's an all fum silver fumed piece of glass. I just took a silver fumed rod and twisted it and layered clear quartz over it. And you can see the different hues of, uh, of color. Not a lot. Some blues, some greens. It works. Let's see what else we got. Thanks, Jody. This is a die crow. Just twist. Twist, twist. Here's another corkscrew. I think this is green exotic or blue exotic, one of the two. Swirl colors going on. I'm coming down to the end of let me see there's there's i've got more i can show you i could sit here and show you stuff all day long literally oh here's one of my uh, uh galaxies and and i believe let me check oh yeah looks green but with the illuminati in it that's the cool part Another one of my shrimps, dude. Love making the shrimps. Is this recording? Yes. Um, you just come back to my Facebook page and see it. And since you've, uh, uh, you've made a few comments, if somebody makes a comment on that, it'll come back up onto your page and you can watch it again um, from where you left off. Thanks for showing up, Jody. I do appreciate your good your good comments and questions, and uh, I'm glad you're out there. Just the way I am. Oh, here's one of my marbles. Now it looks a little. It's very distorted. But let me see if I can get this right here. Yep. A M B E R Nicole Libby. That's my daughter's name. And these all have UV reactive glass in there for the letters. I had a lot of fun doing that little type of marble. I'm trying to see there's more of them out there. Oh yeah, another one of my skull ones yeah more 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 this one I call the phantom because he's sort of well not this skull one anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. well I can show off some figurines now I got plenty of those too never around when you want one though oh here we go Here's a figurine pendant elephant head. 
silver fumed honeycomb and uh, I did yesterday a sea turtle one that turned out really really nice really really nice I know it got a little distorted in the middle again but uh, that's one of the things I like to leave it gives it a serendipitous and I know it it's not looking perfect but I prefer a little bit of imperfection in some of my work that way um, I sh again it shows the human factor here's a conch shell out of the conch I mean out of the marble just a conch shell itself I made the mistake of making one of those for my mother and I have made more to give to her so that she, every time she wears it someone says oh that's a great and she says here my son makes them I'll get another one it's like oh please <laughs> but yeah got a lot of those um, let me see if there's something else I can that will jump out at me yeah uh, of course it's broken never mind here we go Easter egg with a dragon on it coming up I can do Easter egg with uh, frogs Easter eggs with a lot of stuff different stuff on it I got to do is ask never know what I can come up with until you ask me and then just basic pendants like frogs here we go So that works anyway I um, gonna actually you know what I've been sitting out here and it is cold it's 40 degrees I know some people are saying you wish it was 40 degrees where they're at but I haven't turned on my electric heater which I'm doing right now let me see if I can find some more marbles to show you guys Oh yeah, this is this would be a great one to show off. Hold on. Yeah, in the way. I'm in my own way. If I was in nobody's way, if I wasn't in my own way, I'd be in nobody's way at all. Here's another one. Silver fumed honeycomb dragon head pendant. And uh, I also have some Here's a seahorse, another silver fumed honeycomb seahorse, gives you the idea. Uh, trying to see, oh, love these guys, love these guys, my, my, my tiki heads. <laughs> smile, smile for the camera, there, is that better? <laughs> Just never know what you can come up with. These gads. Try to reach for something and can't find it. Try to do a smaller skull. I had to try to make it my make it myself and I screwed it up and there's a nice bubble in his nose. So anyway guys, I'm gonna call it quits for right now. I do thank you guys for being out there. Again, if you have any questions comments or or requests uh, never hurts to ask I could always say no but nine times out of ten I like to try to make people happy there are some that 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 ninth one out of I mean the, the one out of the ten that you can't make happy no matter what because they wanted a smaller bigger size a yellow or green instead of a green or yellow uh, they wanted it a smaller big instead of a bigger small they wanted it a uh, always not what you, you you said oh this is what I can do and they said that'd be fine and then when they see it that's not what they wanted uh, you can't make them happy but that's life in general you can make somebody but I'm here to try to make you as happy as possible thanks for watching as always carpe vitro and enjoy your day